Hello Leo, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. It means others can benefit. It doesn't cost you anything, so thank you. Please remember this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. Travel. Now this could be taking a holiday, it could be moving home, it could be moving country, it could be moving job. Any kind of travel. Let's take these. These are difficult to shuffle. I shuffled them before we did this, so we'll just see. Cheerful. Someone new is entering your life. Hmm. Someone new is coming onto your life path. Great. Time to go out and have fun. Yeah, so it might be time for a holiday, time for a break. Time to enjoy yourself and let your hair down. So Spirit, please show me clearly what this is about. It could be that you're meeting somebody new, new friend, new relationship, and you're going out and having fun. The Five of Pentacles. Yeah. The Chariot. Page of Cups. Now this is Cancer energy. So somebody, if there's somebody new coming in, they could be a Cancer, or they could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. But what we've got here is we've got disappointment. We're feeling as if we're left out in the cold here. We're disappointed. Now fives are changed for me, so we need to look at this. We can always seek refuge. We want to let the disappointments go. If we're thinking that half our cup is half empty rather than half full, we will attract more of that to our life. So we need to be seeing this, that I have still got stability here and I'm ready to look at what I've got in the present and do things to improve the pentacles. Now, it could be that there's been disappointment in your work, your relationships, your environment or your your, your uh, finances. But whatever there is, we can recover from this. And if we listen to our heart chakra, we go and have some fun, we loosen up a bit. We start to focus and be able to see the way forward because we need to start to think about our happiness here, not about our disappointments, because that's what's going to move you on. And we've got two cards of movement. Now, like I say, it could be a break that you need um, to see clearly. Always listen to your intuition. It could be somebody new coming into your life that can help you move forward as well here. But we need to be, I'll just get that card. The night of, I'm going to, just let me sit down, sorry. I'm going to clarify this five of pentacles. So that's the night. Yeah, the ten of wands and the temperance card. So what we've got here is we've got feelings as if we've had the whole weight of the world on our shoulders here. Now your challenges are coming to an end as long as we see our cup is half full and half empty. So I almost feel like for some of you here, I'm feeling like we're drawing the line under things now. There's been challenges, they're over. It's maybe been a disappointing time, but we are able, we're going to be able to think now uh, that the challenging times are over. We're going to be able to think about how to bring stability back. So we're listening to our heart chakra here. We're going forward. This could also be an apology from someone. Uh, it could be you've had challenges with your children as well here for some of you, if that's the case. But this is about thinking about deliberately making plans, looking at the details of things to restore the balance. So this could be looking for new jobs. There could be new work opportunities coming to you. Somebody could be bringing you opportunities. Pentacles are Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn energy. It doesn't have to be. But opportunities coming forward to you because you're starting to say right I was disappointed my challenges are over now but I need to get it together and I need to think about how to go forward so no opportunities will appear definitely for you so this could be somebody new coming in offering you a new job or a new opportunity for stability if there's contracts being signed please look at the details dot your i's and stroke your t's so you know what you're signing up for here but new opportunities must definitely to restore balance and stability into your life. And you're going to be very happy. Now, tiny steps. He's the most slowest knight in the pack. Slow, deliberate, slow wins the race here. So laying solid foundations and taking your time to plan your way forward is important here. So we'll just see what this page of cups is. Please, Spirit, show me clearly. Yeah, a judgment call. So there could be an apology. Are you making a judgment through following your heart chakra? The Five of Swords, and again, the page. So this is you. There's been a compromise. There's been a battle here, and it's over. You've not got out of it what you wanted. You might have had to, you know, take a step back to take two steps forward. It might feel like a bittersweet victory, but you have come out successfully. It will enable you to make judgment calls here. Um, Spirit's trying to help you with these judgment calls. 
It could be deja vu situations or somebody coming back from your past. But use the knowledge and the challenges, the things you've learned here through going through these challenges to make your judgment call. Do what's right for you here. Follow that heart chakra. Listen to your intuition because you have the ability to bring restored balance and start on a brand new path, most definitely. Right, we'll just get that one because of time, time. The universe is helping you. Look for synchronicities, of synchronistic events around you. Now, this is the universe trying to help you with your judgment calls. So there could be repeating numbers. There could be songs on the radio that are repeating themselves. You might be seeing the same birds, feathers, whatever it may be. But the universe is trying to help you with this judgment call. It's time to move on. We're travelling forward. We're moving on from past challenges. It's done now. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.